right. Hello. Good afternoon, Block Khan. I have the honor to be the first speaker after the lunch break. My name is Martin, and I'm going to talk about algorithmic trading and how to bring it to the masses. Quants are the rocket scientists of Wall Street, says the New York Times. I'm the CEO and founder of Quantix and a veteran quant myself. Quantitative finance is an $800 billion industry. Oh, actually, we're here. Yeah. It's an $800 billion industry. Over 85% of all transactions on exchanges today are already made by algorithms. So the future of trading and asset management is clearly quantitative. What is trading algorithm? Trading algorithm is a computer program uh, that predicts the prices of assets traded at exchanges based on a mathematical formula and executes these predictions automatically to trade the markets. Algorithms are usually built with sophisticated uh, software like Python, MATLAB, and R, and using sophisticated libraries like TensorFlow, MLPack, or CAFE. Quantitative finance, despite the broad availability of all these tools to anyone today, is still in the hands of a few and very successful quantitative hedge funds like Renaissance, Winton, Two Sigma. The secret to their success is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. They each employ hundreds of mathematicians, physicists, computer scientists, quants in short, uh, to create trading algorithms for them. And then they market that as a hedge fund product. But all their quants taken together make up for less than 1% of the quant talent in the world. There are only 10,000 professional quants in the industry, but there are 20 million people in the US alone with a science and engineering degree who could potentially become quants. So what about the 99%? What about the 99% of the talent, of the quant talent in the world? We empower them with Quantix by providing them the, with the infrastructure that they need to build trading algorithms. That consists of software, of data, and of course, most importantly maybe, access to investment capital for their trading algorithms. Our mission is to democratize quantitative finance. We have a quant network of over 9,000 quants worldwide, so by the end of the year, we will have more quants on our platform than the entire industry has together. And again, our mission is to democratize it, to bring it to the masses. So we have two different types of users of our platform. The ones would be, first ones would be quants, and the second ones would obviously be investors. And I wanted to show you today how easy it is actually for any one of us here in the audience to become a quant and to build a trading algorithm, actually even a trading algorithm that has the potential to beat the stock market. Uh, and that's what I'm gonna do in the, in the next four minutes. I will show you how easy it is to develop such a program using our tools, and then I will focus on how can we bring these algorithms to investors? How can we connect trading algorithms generated by anyone here in the audience, anyone in the world, to investors? So, in the next minutes, I will develop together with you a trading algorithm, a very simple trading algorithm, to give you an idea what a trading algorithm is and how easy it is to develop one. I will develop a very simple uh, algorithm that's only based on historical price data that does not need anything else but its own historical prices for its predictions. I will go with the default settings here and develop an algorithm that trades commodity futures, index futures, bonds, interest rates, energy commodities, precious metals. I will skip currencies and agricultural commodities for this part. We have tons of more data that one could use, but uh, let's start with something simple. Down here, we can see the source code, the logic of this code, of this trading program. And the entire logic of this algorithm is in these 12 lines of Python code. It's a very simple and straightforward algorithm. What we do here is we compute two moving averages, so two average prices for every market. One time we average the price of a market over 200 days, and then we average the price of the market over 10 days. We compare those two averages. If the shorter term average, the 10 day average, is above the 200 day average, that means prices have risen recently. And since this is a trend-following example, we want to be invested long in the market. 
Otherwise, we want to trade the market short. Now, we do this for all the markets over 25 years, all the markets that we have selected. And since we're running here on a <laughs> Wi-Fi hotspot, I won't execute the trading algorithm on the fly. Usually, it takes up to 15 seconds uh, before exactly this result here pops up. Now, what we can see that we, we would have turned an initial investment of a million, hypothetically, into more than 2 million over 25 years. Now, that's not yet really exciting. We can certainly do better than that. That's an average annual performance of 1.4% so far. So we can do it better than that. Uh, we can analyze the results a little further and take a look at how well this trading algorithm, how well the strategy was performing whenever it was invested long in the market. So whenever it had a, a position that speculated on rising prices versus a position that speculates on falling prices. Now I hope that the Wi-Fi here will bring the result up. Otherwise, we will have to go to the next point. Yeah, apparently this doesn't work. Um, the second aspect that we can take a look at is here. We have uh, chosen some parameters somewhat uh, by chance. Uh, we have chosen to average the prices over 200 days and then over 10 days and make a comparison of those two averages. Now, what if another combination of parameters would actually be better, produce a better result? This is something that we can test systematically. And it's, as you can see, also very easy to test that here on, on our website. We will just load here uh, the optimization results. What I've done here is I have run all combinations of the first parameter with the second parameter in steps of 10. So for the first parameter, I go from 200 to 300 in steps of 10. For the second parameter, I go from 10 to 100 in steps of 10. So this gives me a lot of combinations, 99 in this case, to be precise. And I can plot the results of my trading algorithm over its performance in dependent on those two parameters. And this is exactly what we're doing here. So now you can see you have a 3D representation of all possible parameter combinations in my parameter universe here. And the higher up a bubble is in the cloud, and the redder it is, the better that particular instance. So we find here the optimum instance that consists of a parameter combination of 240 and 40. And if we trade that, if we load that into our tool, we actually end up with an algorithm that produces um, a return of almost 8% on average over the last 25 years. It trades a couple of markets, not only the stock market, but also bonds, metals, and energy futures. And with that performance, we would have turned, hypothetically, an initial investment of a million into over 7 million over the course of these 25 years. Now, this is actually an algorithm that outperforms the stock market. So you have seen that it's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to get started on Quantiax and to build an algorithm that has the potential to outperform the stock market. Now let's get to the part where we monetize that strategy. So if I've created that strategy and I'm happy with it, I can simply submit it to Quantiax, to the marketplace where it is listed after a while. So this brings us directly to the Quantix website. And then it shows up in the systems list after it is evaluated here. And this is the work of our over 9,000 quants. They have built a lot of really great algorithms already. And at the moment, these algorithms are also available already, but only to institutional investors. We are a commodity trading advisor. We are regulated here in the US. So we can make these algorithms available to institutional investors at the moment. And this is where blockchain comes in for us, the second part of the equation, the second part of the marketplace, investors. Through blockchain, we will be able to democratize also the investment aspect of our platform and thus democratize quantitative finance completely. And that's why I'm happy to announce here today on stage for the first time that we're looking forward to launching our uh, own crypto token, QTC, a token on the Ethereum blockchain that can be invested in equities, in commodities, individual markets, and also in quantitative trading programs, algorithms on the platform. This token will always be backed with Ether and be convertible to Ether anytime, even without an exchange, guaranteed by its smart contract. The token, there will be a limited supply of QTC, and every time the token is used to be invested, in a trading algorithm or in an individual commodity or equity market, a small fraction of the token is burned forever. 
which means that this is by definition, by construction, a deflationary currency that we're building here. So you can use the token to invest. You can use uh, the token to just buy and hold it in your portfolio because it generates interest over time if other people use it to invest it on a marketplace. So it's an interesting interest generating token and it is fully compliant uh, with SEC regulation. This is a security token. It will initially only be available to accredited investors, but it is our goal to make it available to anyone at the main sale as a re registered and compliant uh, security token regulated here in the US by the SEC. So this is in a nutshell how we plan to bring quantitative trading to the masses. Um, our quant community and we are looking forward to uh, yeah, issuing the token to announcing it and to really democratizing also the second side, the investor side of the platform. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, talk to me at my booth back there. Thank you.